Today we're at the range, we're gonna be testing our lightweight level three plate. So the lightweight level three plate is made out of UHMWPE. Uh, it's only 0.8 inches thick, weighs three and a half pounds, uh, buoyant, it's got a multi-curve to be nice and comfortable, it fits your body as well. Super awesome plate, this, the poly plate's awesome technology, gives you super lightweight while still giving you rifle rated protection. So today we're gonna show that, make sure it meets those level three standards. We'll test it with first a nine millimeter, then a 44 mag, and we'll shoot it with a 5.56 rifle, uh, 7.62 by 3.9 and a 7.62 by 5.1. Um, the level three standards require that it stops a M80 ball round, so we'll shoot with that today along with a few other rounds. Um, after each shot, we'll test the back face deformation in the clay to make sure that it also is meeting the minimum standard there. One caveat to that, today is a little colder than a normal testing environment, so the clay will be a slightly harder, so the back face deformation will be slightly affected by that. Um, just take that in mind as we, as we do that testing. We also have this tested by an NIJ lab, so we can get that report for you if you wanted. But anyway, we'll shoot it up. So how you test armor is you put it up against a clay box, it's a specific type of clay that's used for testing. Um, we'll put the, we'll strap the armor to that. So when we shoot that, any back face deformation, you can pull this off, measure the depth in the clay and, uh, and see if it passes. So it re the requirement is it has, it can't be more than 44 millimeters of back face deformation. So we'll strap this up here to the clay box. You can see we bulge this out to match the multi-curve of the plate. Um, so we'll shoot that up, test each round to make sure the back face deformation meets the standards as well. All right. First up is a nine millimeter, shooting it with a SIG P320. So first shot from that nine mil, you can kind of see it. There's a teeny little hole. You can actually see the lead right there. It didn't even really do anything. Obviously nine mil is, uh, this is ready to easily stop any pistol caliber, but let's pop this off and see what kind of deformation we have. So there you can see a little dimple on the plate and in the clay. So we can quickly measure that and see what kind of depth we have on that. We're at 8.8 .8 millimeters. So obviously well within the standards. Um, so now we'll jump up to a 44 mag. So next up, we'll shoot with a 44 mag. It's a 270 grain. Uh, this is the Raging Hunter. So we'll take a shot with that. We're about 10 yards away. Go see the damage, baby. So on this one, you can see right there the hole that one hit in. You can actually see the lead right there as well. Um, it bulged a little bit on the plate. Uh, so we'll pop this off the back and check the deformation on this one too. So you can see it on the plate there, a little bulge. You can see it here, we have that caliper, we'll test that, uh, we'll test the distance on that one. Make sure it's starting to zero. So we're about 18 millimeters on your 44 mag. So now we'll jump up to the rifle rounds, we'll hit it with a 5.56. So this is 5.56 at 15 meters. Barrel length is uh, 16 inches. Let's go see if he hit it, huh? You see that third shot right here on the right side of the plate. Um, can't actually see that slug, so it must have gone in a little ways into that plate. You see that's where that one impacted at 5.56. Five, Your deformation on that's still not bad, you can tell. You're about 20 millimeters on your deformation for that 5.56. Five, so now we'll jump on up and shoot it with a 7.62 by 3.9. Same thing, 15 meters away, and uh, we'll see what it does. Next, we will be using, ah, 
the bayonet on the SKS, we'll be stabbing the plate. Ah! <laughs> All right, so next up, we got a 7.62 by 3.9. We have an SKS here, 20 inch barrel on this, a little longer than your typical AK, uh, 15 meters again, so we'll put a shot on it. All right, let's go check that out. So it looks like that 7.62 by 3.9 round, not where I wanted to put it, but right here next to that 5.56 five, round. I was aiming uh, a little higher, but uh, anyway, hit right here. So let's see what it looks like. Those shots are probably a little close together, but uh, it should still do the job. Yeah, so you see on that back plate where those two hit, starting to bulge it a little bit. Um, they're kind of right on top of each other, so it's almost just one bulge. You can see here the two different hits. So your deformation from that 7.62 um, by 3.9 is pretty dang similar to that 5.56. Uh, still not gonna be, be anything to worry about. So next up, we will hit it with the M80 ball round from the 7.62 by 5.1. That is the standard for level three. Uh, so let's slap that up there and, and test it out. All right, here's the real test. 7.62 by 51 with M80 ball out of a 16 inch barrel. So that shot you can see here right under that nine mil, you hit down here and you can see it bulged, started to, to pull apart the Oh, there it is. See, so hit on the edge there, and that started to pull apart some of the uh, some of the covering on it. Uh, but you can see those layers are still intact, even after five shots. Uh, barely starting to get some. You can see in there, starting to delaminate slightly. It's after five shots, so that's pretty awesome. Um, really held up. Now let's measure that deformation on that plate. So you can see a shot right there. We'll measure the depth on that. It looks well within the standards. So you're at 24 millimeters on that. As I said, the standards, uh, in order to pass the standards, it can't be more than 44 millimeters. So we're a full 20 millimeters underneath the standards. So well within the standards. Uh, so anyway, that's your level three plate, lightweight plate, three and a half pounds, just took five shots. You can still stay intact, started to peel apart a little bit from that 308 on the edge. That's a pretty close edge shot, um, and it still did its job. It's pretty awesome. M193 out of a 20 inch barrel, 15 meters. <laughs> what? You ain't know how to no scope, bro? <laughs> M193 out of a 20 inch barrel at 15 meters, take two. That's the same Lower. spot. Oh. Top of the plate. I think you hit it. Shoot one more. Ah, you blew a hole in my clay. So, as we can see here, our uh, wonderful marksman missed the armor. Um, this clay is not bulletproof, so it went right in there. In his defense, I guess we'll give him credit. That gun does not have a sight on it at the moment. It is optic free, so he's no scoping. But let's see, this one did hit. So let's check that one out. It oh, stopped it. It straight stopped it, look at that. So that stopped that, that 20 inch barrel, the M193. You can see right there, that's a, not near as much deformation as from that 308, but uh, and that's right on the edge. Man, it stopped it. That's pretty awesome. Once again, this was not from this. The bullet's right there. You can see it stuck down in there. This was a miss. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So we just got done shooting the lightweight level three plate, put a nine mil, 44 mag, 
762 um, by 39, a 556, and your 308 down here. So you can see on that plate, you can see some of that um, back face. We measured all the back face, the, even the 308, the M80 ball round, was a 24 millimeters back face deformation on that. It can be all the way up to 44 to meet the standard, so it's uh, almost half um, the requirement, so it's awesome. And you can see the plate itself is still intact. Down here with the 308 shot on the edge, it started to peel away some of this material. So that's awesome that you know it's taking five shots and we're barely starting to see any delamination on that, as well as the cover holding on strong. So anyway, uh, awesome results. As we said, this thing's 0.8 inches thick, super thin for a poly plate, only weighs three and a half pounds. It's got the multi-curve, uh, so it fits nice and comfortable. As you can see, it does the job it's required to do. So check it out today, uh, PredatorArmor.com.